Florida is now the eighth state to restrict transgender care for minors. As of yesterday, the State Board of Medicine is prohibiting puberty, puberty blockers and hormone therapy for patients younger than 18. On your side, Tristan Hardy is in the studio with me tonight to explain what this means. Tristan, tell us more. Jessica, doctors who violate this new rule risk getting fined or their licenses revoked. Well, on the other hand, state health officials say it's about protecting children from irreversible harm. For one transgender woman on the first coast, the restriction is another way to target the trans community. Nobody should be telling us how to live our lives. Erica Diamore of Jacksonville is a transgender woman. She says her childhood would have been easier if she had gender affirming care. Right now, she's prescribed hormone therapy. I had to wait until I was 27. Something she says would have given her a normal life. I was miserable, sad, often suicidal, and now I can. I can make it through the day, I can exist, it, it, everything feels right finally. What doesn't feel right to deal more is knowing transition related medical care for young people is now restricted in Florida. It prohibits minors from starting puberty blockers or hormone therapy. The Florida Board of Medicine enacted the rule and it was implemented Thursday. So any physician that does sex reassignment surgery or other surgical procedures that alter the primary or sexual characteristics will lose it, will potentially lose her license. The Florida House Health and Human Services Committee had a meeting in February. Here, panelists and experts believe gender affirming care is a form of genital mutilation. In any procedure in medicine, we are required to give informed consent. The new rule won't impact current trans patients because they're grandfathered in. But to deal more, the rule changes will be harmful to trans youth. She believes it prevents them from living a normal life. I think it's important that people know that this is a target attack on a very unprotected minority. So I reached out to the Florida Health for comment. They sent me a quote from the state surgeon general, Dr. Joseph Latipo. It reads in part, children deserve to learn how to navigate this world without harmful pressure. And Florida will continue to fight for kids to be kids. This action protects minors from irreversible surgeries and highly experimental treatments. In the studio, I'm Tristan Hardy. First Coast News on your side.